Hey there, it's Sonia Miller, speaker, coach, and best-selling author, and I help overworked, underfulfilled women to receive what they most want by unlearning struggle. So today, we're going to talk about prayer. And this question came in from a student in the Receive course that I'm currently teaching. So she wrote, how does prayer fit into receiving what I want? By that, I mean the other day I wanted to send up a prayer that my daughter remains safe in her new apartment. She's in a not great part of town. Or that my friend's mother recover from her stroke, but I wasn't sure how to deal with those prayers or thoughts or even who to send them to. I guess those are just wants, right? But the idea of receiving the don't wants come along with those thoughts that bad stuff might happen to them. That possibility is very overwhelming. Is there something like the equivalent of prayer or sending good thoughts or holding a positive space for healing here? Okay, so because my work is all about helping women to receive what they most want, in the Receive course, we talk a lot about your wants and your don't wants. And so because I'm all about helping you to unlearn struggle, the less is more tip that I'd like to give you today is that your thoughts have no power. It's your belief in them that have power. Okay. So what this student is talking about is as I send these prayers or have these worries or have these concerns and I want to send a prayer, the thoughts are overwhelming. I'm afraid that I'm receiving the don't wants and that that's going to make things worse. And I don't even know how to deal with this. Okay. So once again, the thoughts that arise, whether they're good thoughts or negative thoughts, there's no such thing as good or bad because actually thoughts are inert. They're neutral. They are just thoughts. They are not real. They're not fact. Okay. They are thought forms or energy forms. They're like lightning across the sky. Thoughts happen. Okay. How we relate to them is where all of the power is. In other words, if we believe in those thoughts, that's where the power is. Okay. So what's the receiving opportunity here? How do we unlearn struggle and receive more of what we want? The main thing to think about with prayer is that most of the time people pray for two reasons. Either they are seeking safety, some variation of safety, comfort, soothing, that my daughter's going to be okay, that this woman's going to be okay, that the world's going to be okay. It's usually a seeking of safety or many prayers are about gratitude. Okay. Now, if what we're really after is safety, which with this question, this is what the student was asking about. The opportunity is to receive everything, all of those thoughts, as if you embody safety. In other words, an opportunity for you to become the safest place in the world for you, for your feelings, for your thoughts, to receive them fully. As you relate to your thoughts from a place of safety, then the fears behind them, the thing that makes you afraid of believing that they could come true, that starts to soften because it's the resistance of the thoughts that gives them more life, okay? But the receiving of the thoughts, the receiving of the concerns, the receiving of the worry allows them to transform, allows them to move. We let them be here. We receive them as if those thoughts and those worries are safe to be here, okay? That is your receiving opportunity. That is how you unlearn struggle. You stop fighting the thoughts. You stop fighting the worries. You stop trying to control them, fix them, change them, change the world so that people, you, your loved ones can be safe. We receive the thoughts, the worries, and concerns with safety for them, with safety for ourselves, understanding that they have no power, okay? If we do not battle them, they will move on through. They will do what they came here to do. Now, yes, sometimes we need support with this. If we've never done this before, if we don't have the direct experience of being safe, 
then we need support. We might need a counselor, a healer, a therapist. And when it's really um, deep um, or it comes from trauma, we really need somebody to help us do some trauma work. So this is about the conceptual piece about how this all works. But these pieces are where you can go deeper in learning how to receive your fulfillment by unlearning the struggle that we've actually learned. We, we actually learned it through life. And most of life doesn't require struggle. Some of life does. Like when a baby's being born or the butterfly's coming out of the cocoon, there's an aspect of life that is, has natural struggle. But much of our struggle is learned and we can unlearn it and receive our fulfillment with greater and greater ease, all right? So once you've received all of this by being the safest place in the world, then you can pray anywhere, any way you like. And I use the flower as our amazing metaphor of the power of being, the power of receiving. The flower receives all day long everything that life gives it. And life gives her everything that she needs to live. So the sun and the water and the earth. And sometimes it's intense, it's uncomfortable, the sun's too hot or the water's too much or sometimes it's too dry. So we re she receives that, receives that, okay? And she's always, and this is the part about prayer that I want to offer you, is she's always an invitation. Always an invitation. And when we practice receiving, we... Once we let whatever arises come here and be here, we be an invitation for more or better. That is what you can use prayer for. And personally, I have a couple ways that I do this. One of my favorite ways to send up a prayer, and I believe in, you know, it's source, life, the universe, divine intelligence, God. I use those words interchangeably. So whatever works for you, there's no right or wrong because it's all consciousness. It's all life. So however you like to pray, pray. And know that you're safe to pray however you want to pray. There's no right or wrong. And if you want to experiment with being an invitation for more better, you can use willingness, statements of willingness, which is something like, I'm willing to believe that my daughter is safe and cared for under all conditions. I'm willing to see all the ways my daughter is already safe. I'm willing to see the health and well-being that's available for my loved ones. I'm willing to see the best in people. I'm willing to see my son as resilient and powerful and brilliant and have that be stronger than my worries and concerns because it's all here. The benevolence of life is here, okay? So willingness is a great one. And another way that I love to be in a state of openness and receptivity to the good that's here is simply to ask the question, what else is possible now? I've received my worries. I've received my concerns. I let them be here. I be safe for them. What else is possible now? Or how does it get even better than this? And then listen, watch, see what shows up in your life and receive that. The more you let go of struggle by resisting the struggle that comes from resisting your thoughts, you let it be here, that struggle falls away and you become able to see and receive the benevolence, the kindness of life in ways that you couldn't see before, but was always, always here. Okay. So I hope that helps you explore a little bit with how you can play and experiment with prayer and know that there's no right way and you can fully enjoy it. Your less is more tip is thoughts themselves have no power. Only your belief in them or the way you relate to them, if you resist them, if you push them away, that's what gives them power. But the thoughts themselves, you have nothing to worry about. You're safe to have them pass on through. And your receiving opportunity is to do just that. Receive the thoughts, receive the worries be the safest place in the world for all of you to come in and be received. Let them be here and then invite more or better. 
So I hope you have fun experimenting with this, exploring this. Um, I'd love to hear how it goes for you. And if you would like to take these concepts and actually bring them to life into your experience, because it's one thing to understand in your head, it's another thing to actually unlearn struggle and receive your fulfillment. If you'd like to go deeper into this, check out my free webinar, receiveclass.com. That will give you a really great overview about how this all works. And if you really are inspired, you can check out receivecourse.com and really get the support to bring this into your life. I hope you like this video. If you do, please like, share, subscribe. It helps me spread the word and reach those that I'm here to serve. And keep on coming back because I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.